All right, now in what should have been a thrilling adventure story which went wrong, nine people in Sweden lost their lives as the plane that was carrying them for a skydiving trip crashed on an island. Now, the small plane designed to carry skydivers crashed near the Ume River shortly after takeoff from the Umeå airport in northern Sweden. All nine people on board are now reported to be dead. The witnesses said that a loud bang was heard while the plane, as you can see on your screen, suddenly plummeted into the river. Now, the police have said that all the boarders were Swedish except one who reportedly had a dual citizenship. Now, the King of Sweden, Carl XVI, Gustav, has offered his condolences to the families of the victims in the plane crash. Investigations are presently ongoing to determine as to what actually caused the crash. All right, now 37 countries have signed a letter, believe it or not, defending China's treatment of the Uyghur Muslims in the Xinjiang province in response to growing concerns that have been expressed across the world. The ambassadors from 37 countries have jointly sent a letter on Friday to the United Nations Human Rights Council and have reportedly praised China's record in protecting human rights. Now, the envoys, interestingly, also include prominent members of the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation, such as Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, etc. And they said that China, in fact, faced terrorism, separatism and religious extremism in Xinjiang. Therefore, they have said that we appreciate China's commitment to transparency and openness. So the ambassadors from 37 countries have in fact stated there has not been a single terror attack in the region over the past three years. This, of course, has been let, written in the letter to the United Nations Human Rights Council. The people there, the fundamental human rights of the people of all ethnic groups in Xinjiang are well safeguarded. This is, of course, being written in the letter by the 37 different countries. Now, the ringing endorsement for China, of course, comes days after... 22 mainly European nations had urged China to halt the arbitrary detention of Xinjiang's ethnic Uyghurs and other minority groups. It is estimated that almost about a million Uyghurs ethnic minorities are presently held in what are being described as internment or re-education camps by China. Now China, after the 22 nations had expressed their concerns, had hit out the 22 nations for condemning its actions in Xinjiang by turning them as di distortions and hypocrisy of the Western media. It said that the region's people feel much better and much more happy and secure. The prominent media organizations and rights groups include the likes of BBC and Amnesty have reported about the detention of possibly over a million vegan Muslims in detention or the locals call them re-education centers. Now, those in detention camps are reportedly forced to chant slogans, watch propaganda videos that praise the Chinese communist leaders, denounce their own religion and pledge loyalty to the communist regime in overcrowded cells, something which Beijing has always denied. What's also interesting is that it has not given any access for outside media into these internment or re-education camps in which almost about a million people are being held.